Welcome aboard the Ashcrawler Chrysanthemum. Let me introduce myself. My name is Amy Chrysanthemum, and I serve as an operator on this vessel. Um, so, this is the mission counter. We post tasks that need to be performed in order to clear our course. So, in short, you're saying if we want a job, then this is the place to go? Yep, that's right. In fact, it looks like something was posted just now. But we have a bit of a snag. A snag? That's right. Continuing on our course would be like crossing a rope bridge blindfolded. So what? You just walk forward. The snag is, there's something chewing on the ropes. Caravans that conduct their operations within the Ashlands are invariably equipped with resonance radar. It tracks local ash levels and origami. It serves as our eyes and ears, giving us an advantage over potential threats. We have one on the mum, of course. Essentially, if our resonance radar isn't providing us with that data, it's a big problem. One of life or death magnitude. Is yours malfunctioning? As the name suggests, the radar uses resonance, so it needs someone with high resonance skill to operate it. We need a God Eater who can also function as a navigator. However, our previous navigator was incapacitated in the Ash Storm, and currently we have no other candidates in our staff. Navigator, huh? I like the sound of that. Let me give it a try. Amy, go ahead and bypass the authorization system. Okay, it's open. How was I? No. Insufficient range. Maybe a two mile radius? Too small to keep us safe. No! I could give it a shot. I don't think you have the aptitude, Hugo. Not one iota. It's tougher than I thought. Our regular navigator was born with a high resonance capability. However, they had training to see up to a 20 mile radius as well. Hmm. So resonance ability is the key, huh? If one of us can be contracted as a navigator, we should be able to renegotiate royalties. Sound like a workable deal to you, Hilda? So you know, I don't pay for slipshod work. Of course not. Here, give it a try. Ma'am, take a look at the display. I've never seen anything like this. That's ten. No, a hundred miles. Wait, it's still expanding. What? You've got to be kidding! This is unreal! Did... did you do this? <laughs> My friend has always had a real knack for resonance. So, does that solve our problem? Switching to departure sequence. Energy flow from the main accumulator has been established. Now sealing ash bulkhead layers one and two. Resonance radar navigation link complete. Harmonization rate at 30, 60, 100%. Oracle sensor system is green. 
ash density along our plotted course is 0.02 ppm, with intolerance. The ash bulkheads are sealed, activating the whole bias field barrier. All systems are reading green. The chrysanthemum is ready to depart. There's no turning back now. Are you certain about this? Yeah. I never planned on turning back anyway. This is the start of a big adventure! We're more than sure, we're pumped! <laughs> it's good to see that kind of spirit. Ashcrawler Chrysanthemum, casting off! Your mission guide from here on. All instruments are green. Vitals are normal. All right, are you ready? Remember, the mission lasts until you're back home. Your first job starts now. Good luck. I can get used to this. It's a hundred times better than old Craven right here. Sorry, it's a long story. What's this? I was just wondering if it's a common occurrence to find god-eaters from Gleipnir traveling with caravans. I suppose you're keeping an eye on some cargo back there, is that right? The area up ahead is under Gleipnir jurisdiction. I cannot allow you to proceed. Meaning that whatever you've got stowed up there is a special delivery for Gleipnir.
Hey. Hey. Are you okay? So tell me, what's your name? Gleipnir 6th Engineering Battalion, Special Transport Unit, Claire Victorious. You can just call me Hugo Pennywort. The owner told me about you. It seems you helped with clearing our route. Understand that while I do applaud the work you've done, I cannot approve of any frivolous actions you take in the field. Don't expect to garner any special favor for it. Great, a teacher's pet. <sighs> I'm only doing the job that I was assigned. If we're in combat together, I will be trusting you to perform. Huh? It... it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna get along after all. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Claire. Expected, Claire. Thanks. Be sure to rest when you get back to base. Don't worry about it. I'm just feeling a little motion sick, that's all. 
But fighting Aragami is a lot worse, right? I'm not big enough to fight yet, but... See? I can scrounge up cool stuff like this! Begin when ready. Be sure to come home, okay? Gotta stay focused. Thank you. 
Okay. Don't forget to check for useful items. It feels like you've waited forever, but once things start moving, it all goes pretty quick. I mean, just look at where we are now. You remember what I was saying earlier? After all that time locked up, we're finally outside. And now our first problem rears its ugly head. What do we do with ourselves now that we're here? Bzz, time's up. I made up my mind a long time ago. From this point forward, we're living in a world driven by action. We'll have to buy back our freedom by fighting. Absolutely. After that, we'll build a port of our own. It'll be a place where people can help each other and work toward their dreams. But I'm gonna need a lot of help from you. Are you on board for this? <laughs> We've got this. Seriously. This means a lot. Well, let's go give the kids the good news. They have nothing to be afraid of anymore. It might be a lie now, but it'll be okay if we make it the truth someday. Remember, you're my accomplice in all this. Let's make sure we see it through, huh? Is this the place? Yes. Any visual? 
There! Claire, wait! <sighs> An age is on it, and an experienced one at that. Just stay back and provide support. Is this some damn circus? Gotcha! Activate. What's with this weirdo? What do you want? Let me speak with your commander. Ma'am, this is a video of their battle. An acceleration trigger. They've already got a practical model. Establishing a communications link with Hugo. Hilda, I'm putting our attacker on. She wants to talk. Go ahead. I am a barren age. Codename, Lulu. I was left stranded here by my vessel during a mission, and I am requesting transport back to Baron. You gave us a rather rough greeting, don't you think? I understand. I apologize for the incident. However, I intend you no harm. I'm not gonna take that one. You should know, I held myself back. It's the only method we're taught. First, I'll make contact with Baron to confirm your identity. It may take a little time to do that. I assume you can wait while I do? That's fine. We have a response from Baron. According to their message, they say they have no record of an age named Lulu on their files. So, who is she then? <sighs> Amy, what's the ash density in this area? Checking. Um, 0 0.008 ppm. That will give us about 10 minutes. Open the hatch. I'll talk with her directly. Understood. Opening the... hatch. Wait, what? Hey, what the hell are you doing? He is a member of my crew. Could you do me a favor and let him go for me? I... I already told you, you're taking me to Baron. There doesn't seem to be an age named Lulu. Huh? I've searched every record we have, and contacted Baron as well. But everywhere I check, I get the same result. No person named Lulu exists. That... No, that can't be right. I mean... I was just on a mission. I'm sorry, but you're... I see. So... What the heck's going on? I... I've been... cast aside. If there are no objections from any of you, I'd like for her to join our crew. Are you sure it's safe to have her? 
I mean, I'm fine with it, but... She doesn't have any place to go home to now, does she? I say go for it. She's strong and effective in combat. For an age, there's nothing more important than that. Hey, hey! I want a chance to analyze that acceleration trigger. I agree with Madame Hilda. Though I guess that's nothing new. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Now all that remains is to see what her will is on this matter. Hmm... Her will, huh? Seems pretty messed up to drop that kind of choice on an age with her strict training. Right? Whoa! You're way too serious. I'm with our friend here. No matter what the situation you find yourself in, your future is your own choice. Oh, I see. That actually does make sense. That's what freedom really is, isn't it? Then I'm free? My will. I have nothing to offer. Like the others said, it's up to you to decide on your own path in life now. If you've come here, then you've already made a choice, haven't you? Hmm. Is it all right if I stay with you? <laughs> Heck yeah! I'm not gonna let a chance like this slide. That acceleration trigger you have? Let me give it a try. Huh? Well, it's... not finished. Then we will assist you in completing it. Let's say you contribute your skills and tech in exchange for a warm bed. Does that sound like an acceptable deal? Are you sure? Okay, then let's get the party going. We're gonna play cards all night. How's your poker game? Um, okay. I know the rules. The party is on! Uh, sorry, friend, but I'm going to bow out of this one. I just can't wait to take a peek at that acceleration trigger. Seriously, you're always such a wet blanket. Get with the program, will ya? After you, friend. After you. Huh? Well, everyone else is obligated. Got it? <laughs> if we have to. <laughs> It'll be a nice change of pace. Finally did it, Zeke! Acceleration trigger analysis is complete. Man, that was quick. Did you stay up all night? It's the thing Lulu was using, right? What the hell is it anyway? I'm so glad you asked. Simply put, an acceleration trigger initiates a process. Oracle potential energy is drawn forth from the oracle cells within a God Arc user's body when certain stresses are applied to the cells. Then, transferred to a booster within their armlet, which then amplifies the effect of the energy, instantly boosting the user's capabilities by creating a God Arc wielder feedback loop, resulting in an Oracle Cell subjective stimulation system. Simply put, it'll unlock the energy in your Oracle Cells for an extra boost of power when you do certain things during combat. Wow, those folks in Baron are working on some remarkable stuff. So, these Oracle Cells we have in us are real scary, huh? Yeah, I'd say they qualify as real scary. If you overactivate them, they'll eat your body from the inside after all! Do you have to look so happy about it? Well, you don't have to worry as long as you don't pull anything funny. The one Lulu brought in was improperly calibrated, which is dangerous. But never fear, I'll make sure the ones on your God Arcs are up to spec. 
Huh? But you just finished analyzing them. You gonna install them already? I mean, I know I said I wanted one, but... The more weapons you have at your disposal, the longer you can survive. Right, friend? I don't know about this, man. I've made sure to install the safest, simplest version so you can try it out the next time you're in a fight. There's already a mission set up and everything. No glitches, right? 